If you're watching this video right now, you're probably stuck at home and looking for something fun to do, maybe with your significant other. Well, today is our first ever episode of Quarantine Cooking in New York City with Adriana, and she's gonna be taking us through a Mexican recipe that's pretty simple, healthy, and a lot of fun to make, and it's gonna feel like you're traveling to a Mexican restaurant from the comfort of your own home. Let's do this. Hey guys, so as John said, I'm gonna show you how to make meatballs in a Mexican style. I don't know if other countries do it too, but this is the way my grandma used to make them. It's easy. Um, when I say easy, I mean that it's you don't need like big skills to cook it. Like I, I'm not a big cook, but the thing is pretty simple. Adriana has done all the prep already, but we're gonna put all the ingredients in the description so you don't have to worry about writing everything down. It's all gonna be waiting for you. I think it's a little bit less than two pounds of turkey here for John and I. Normally we make a lot of food so we can have some for the next day for lunch, or if we are extra hungry, we just eat everything. So I'm gonna add two eggs. If you can crack an egg, you can do this recipe. Yeah, I think some people when they make meal balls, they add bread. In Mexico, we add rice. I don't know why, but it's the way <laughs> we do it. If someone knows why, let me know. It's not a lot. I don't know portions, guys, so I feel a little bit bad for you because I can tell you like one cup or three tablespoons. I, I most, of the most of the time, Mexican grandmas don't use those things. They use uh, user common sense, or I don't know what they use, but... You do it the Mexican grandma way, it's cool. Yeah, I kind of experiment and I know how much to put. I think this is to keep the meatballs together. Um, so I'm gonna add it at the end so, to see how much I actually need. But I took one quarter of the onion, like a medium, like not very big. But I do my best and... It wasn't born to be a chef. I'm an artist. John and I don't like to eat a lot like salty stuff, so I put just a little bit, but it's up to you. You want to put more or less. Just a little salt, guys. <laughs> I don't know what people's definition of a little salt is, but just a little. As I say, we are we do it in the grand style, so I just put a little bit. Maybe a little spoon or I don't know. Just a little bit. Some people are gonna laugh at me because I made the onion super big. That was a mistake. You can cut it smaller. Oopsie. But I'm learning. Like a couple years ago, I didn't cook anything. And then I'm gonna add the rice. It's already clean. I'll see. It has to look like it has more meat than rice, so don't put a lot. Like you see, it's kind of wet. I think yeah. you can, you have to add rice until it's a little bit more, how do you say, solid? Like, solid, yeah. Yeah. Let me know you cook the same way when you're like a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't use tablespoons, I don't use cups, no. People ask us a lot how we stay in shape with all the unhealthy food we eat on the channel let's be let's be realistic some of the food's not the healthiest that we eat here in new york it tastes amazing of course because we eat more like this than we do uh, bleaker street pizza leave it at that you see it's not so small not super big the story behind me cooking is because i was a nanny like a long time ago and I only have one hour to cook dinner for the kids before they came back from school because if I was away from them for a long time, they were killing each other. They were kids and I had to cook everything in one hour. So I became a really fast cook, but right now I'm going slow. But I like to leave the meat with a, with a sassening just for a little bit. Did you say sassening? Sassening. Did you invent a word? You mean seasoning? Seasoning! Don't put that in the video, thank you. I don't like That's that. okay. We like new words. John invents words in Spanish too. Like what? Like... Estocado. That's your favorite. Stuck? Stuck. 
instead of atorado, he says, estocado. Today we are trying to stay low carb, low carb. <laughs> because we are eating a lot lately. But you can add as much as you want, if you don't like potatoes, you don't like zucchini. Zucchini, that's a fun word. <laughs> Is that your favorite word in English? Zucchini, so nice, zucchini. Don't cut your fingers. That's for me. Oh, it smells good. The seasoning. <laughs> Saucening. Saucening. It smells good. I washed my hands, but I also like to add some water. Like I have a bowl with clean water just to make them wet so the meat doesn't get stuck in your hands. As you can see. And you're gonna take the meat with your hands and Start working on the middle. Don't make them super big because the rice, once it's cooked, it makes them bigger. So if you cook it a super big midwall, it's gonna get even bigger because of the rice. Should I do one or no? If you feel like it's super wet and still and hard to hold, just add bread or rice. It's up to you. I made them big. Too big? I was telling you, don't make them big. Now they're super big. Pan, whatever you want to do. And it has to be like a high pan because it's going to be like a soup, like a lot of liquid on it. So it has to be kind of high. You can put this ones in there. Just with a little bit of oil. Um, you're gonna cook them for a little bit, but not completely cooked. They, they don't have to be completely cooked, but we're gonna leave them there for now. Three tomatoes for the amount of meat that I did. These are can those canned tomatoes, right? These are canned tomatoes that I used yesterday for another recipe, so I'm using them again. I'm so tired. My respect for people that make videos and cook at the same time. How do you do it? It's a good question. These are chipotles in a can. Some people can handle really spicy stuff, some people can't. One is really spicy, like really spicy. So John and I don't like super spicy food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, look, this one is small, you see? So I was gonna cut one into pieces, but this one is already small. So for three or four tomatoes, I put one of this. I recommend you to put one quarter, like half of this, and try it and see if it's enough or if it's too much. If it's too much, you can always add more tomatoes or more water but I would say try little by little because it's very spicy for some people see and then I'm gonna add water not a lot there you go see poquito Quita sal. Garlic. Some onion. I'm gonna check the vegetables. We don't want them to burn. I'm gonna try it. So you're trying the sauce? Yeah. That's a very Mexican method right there, no? I think it's a little bit too spicy, maybe for John. So I'm gonna add one more tomato. Do you think it's spicy? Add more tomatoes. The sauce is very thick and the flavor, you couldn't taste it, but the flavor was very uh, strong, like a lot of tomatoes or a lot of uh, chipotle because we are gonna add water. Um, not a lot, but some. This is too much. It's too red. You can see how red it is. It has to be less red than that, in my opinion. Some people might think it's fine. Some people might think it's too much. I don't know. <laughs> so what are you going to do? I'm going to add more water. I forgot this. Cilantro. You have to add it. It's not boiling, so we're on time. Uh, I already watched it. You can add it or not, depending if you like it. A lot of people don't like it and hate it. I love it. 
so I put a lot. Okay, again I wash my hands, but I'm gonna add water in my hands so that it doesn't get stuck in my hands. So you're gonna grab it and you wanna make it nice again, it's fine. And you're gonna put it carefully in there. You can use a spoon if you feel more confident that you don't wanna burn your hands. Use a really small pen so I, they don't have the, that much space. I don't want to break them by moving them around, but you can do it. You can do this. See? I cut it in the middle to see if it's ready. And we can see that almost. You see? There's a little pink in the middle. So I'm gonna give them five or seven more minutes. Tastes like Team Adriana sauce for sure. <laughs> Whatever that taste is, that's what this tastes like. Yes, her her food always has a little extra spice to it. <laughs> is that good or is that? It's good. It's good. I'm used to it. I don't like serving. I love cooking and eating, but I hate serving. That other. Sorry for my huge meatballs, I was lazy, again. <laughs> Grandma, sorry. That's how I like to eat them actually. Cut them into pieces, like a little meatball soup. My mouth is watering, here you go. Mm. The meat was so soft. I was afraid that it was gonna get dry inside, but it's very, really, really soft. And it's not so spicy, but you can taste the the chipotle. Well, Cooking is not really my thing. Eating's my thing. I'm very blessed to have Adriana as a wife. Let's try this. Mm. It's so soft, and I just feel like. The amount of spice, salt, chipotle that she put into this was really perfect. And I liked how she kept taste testing it throughout the process to make sure that it wasn't too salty or too hot or too spicy. It's just right for our mild palates. And it's actually pretty healthy. This is a tasty, healthy dish that I think anybody with the interest in it could make. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the first ever episode of Quarantine Cooking. If you want more of this, tell us down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. As always, ingredients right down below. Until next time.